So um, I've been talking today at the uh, Consultant Masterclass on palliative care, uh, which is my particular area of interest. Um, it's an emerging area, I think, for PD. I think it's something that we'll all be hearing a lot more of over the coming months and years. Um, it's really interesting and very valuable, I think, that the Masterclass is leading on that. Um, the talk I've been looking at today was really initially around establishing the case for palliative care in Parkinson's disease and I'm sure we all know of, um, of, of colleagues who don't think it's necessarily an appropriate thing in PD. Um, so we look first of all at the evidence for palliative care leading Parkinson's disease and then at some of the tools which are emerging to help try and measure that, uh, the level of unmet need. Um, and moving on from that we looked at service provision and ways in which as, um, as PD specialists uh, and movement disorder specialists we can link in with our specialist palliative care colleagues to provide effective services for people with Parkinson's disease. Um, and after we talked about some of those um, sort of uh, textbook type issues if you like, um, we then looked at um, some specific cases and um, I talked about a, a chap that I met recently who had um, just been diagnosed for three months um, and actually was not particularly badly affected from a PD point of view in terms of movement at this stage. Had a few hallucinations or illusions really, um, but had actually very complex existential issues about his disease and fears about uh, becoming dependent, about losing his, uh, his capacity to make decisions. Um, and fears about uh, reaching out to a family um, before he lost those, those functions. Um, and we've really used him to illustrate the fact that, that there's a growing, um, growing evidence base suggesting that there are folks with early stage disease who really have some very specific palliative care issues. And um, I think over the coming years, what we'll see is services that are designed to respond to the need of people like that gentleman um, and which look to identify and address palliative care need wherever it exists throughout the disease course. At the moment, I think that's still quite a novel idea. And it's still something that people are writing papers about and um, trying to decide on. But I think it's a nice example of the way in which the masterclass mm. mixes that uh, quite cutting edge, if you like, uh, research alongside established clinical practice and allows people to talk about that and talk about the way in which they may or may not wish to introduce that into their, their daily practice. Um, so that's, that's something we've been focusing on today.